Vanessa Terry here with Notary to Notary with your top three things you can do to grow your notary business. So the number one thing that you should do is build relationships. So whether there are new relationships that you are just starting or if you have an existing client list, follow up. So building new relationships is primarily, you know, signing with new signing companies, networking with new title companies, and then going out into your community and building those relationships with local businesses so that way you get, you are the first person they think of when they think of notaries, right? The other part of that is your client list that you already have now, you want to follow up with them. So if you ever see like your business is getting slow, I always keep a client list. So everyone that I've worked that worked for since the beginning of time in my notary business are in a list, okay? And if it's getting slow, I send emails to them, I call them, you know, and I follow up and I just say, hey, you know, I'm I was just checking in to see if you had any signs in the area. Just so my name and my uh, voice and my email, it stays fresh in their mind. So when they're like, oh, she's in Virginia, we have signings, let me reach out to her. Um, so you definitely want to keep those connections going. Why? There are, no, there are a lot of notaries. And that's, you know, that's just, it's the fact. There are a lot of notaries, especially in most major cities. So it's not hard for your name to or your email to be lost or to be forgotten especially if someone else is hitting 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 the pavement so they say harder than you are with your clients and they're calling all the time and they're emailing you know they're gonna get that job before you do so you always want to make sure you have good business relationships and that you're staying in constant contact with those people the second thing that you need to do is make sure your online marketing is up to date and um, working, for one. <laughs> make sure your website is, if you have a website, make sure it's up to date with new information. You know, if you have a blog on there, add, you know, post on there. Just keep your website fresh so that way um, Google keeps it high and um, start searching for notaries. Make sure your Google business page is updated, for one. So go on there, add fresh pictures, add fresh content. When you go to notary appointments, Definitely, definitely, definitely send them a link to your Google business page and ask them to leave a review. People tend to leave reviews when you ask them in the moment. So like say you go to a notary appointment and you finish the appointment but you don't send it, um, the, the ask them to leave a review till like a week later. They're not really gonna remember. But if you say at the appointment, oh I'm gonna send you a, a text for you to leave a review on my Google business page if you wouldn't mind. Usually it'll, it'll get on there in the next like hour or so and texting is the best way to get people to leave reviews. First ask them to go back online and do it. People always have their phones. It's just the quicker method, okay? Um, so you definitely want to update your Google business page. You want to make sure that any listings that you have, some people are on like a lot of different notary registries, things like that. Wherever you are online, make sure it's up to date and fresh. Make sure people can find you online because even if you are registered with a lot of signing companies, if you, um, like I do a lot of loan closings, but I also do a lot of power of attorneys and wills and you know things in my community. So I have to be able to be found by my community, which means the average person in my city going on Google and doing a notary search near me, I my name needs to come up first or close to first. So I need to make sure all my information is fresh, it's new, it's correct for one, and then make sure it's user friendly so that they can just call me from online or text me online or schedule online. So you wanna make sure that your technology um, is up to date as well. So if you're not, you know, <laughs> tech savvy, Find someone who's like 16 or 18 and tell them to help you do it. But uh, you definitely want to be able to have that in this day and age. Most people, when they're looking for a notary, they're just going to go to their phone and they're going to type in notary near me. And Google's going to say, oh, here you go. All right. So that's the other thing you want to do to make sure you're found online. The third tip I recommend is if you're looking for local business. So not in relation to just loan signings. If you want to do power of attorneys and wills and things of that nature, um, definitely business cards. So a lot of people are getting away from business cards. They feel like, oh, technology is um, taking over. Eh, not so much when it comes to this. So a lot of times power of attorneys and wills are done in hospitals, um, nursing facilities, and law firms, right? So. Hospitals and nursing facilities are your biggest, uh, it's where you should really market the most. Reason being, most people who get power of attorneys and wills done, unfortunately do it last minute. So it's usually someone um, had to get surgery or got sick last minute and they're in the hospital and the social worker at the facility is telling them, you know, you need to get a power of attorney done and you get his will done. And the person or the, the caregiver, whoever is a family member, they're just like, okay, well, the social worker will most likely give them the documents or tell them where to get the documents, and then they'll say, you need to get a notary, right? And then the family member or the caretaker, whoever it is, is gonna say, well, where do I get that from? And they're either going to Google it, 
or the social worker will give them a business card. So on average, if the social worker has cards, they will just give it to them. And that's who I market to. So when I go to nursing homes or hospitals, they always have social workers there. And the social workers are the ones who are going to help the, the um, patients get all their everything done, insurance, um, paperwork, all that good stuff. So they're the ones who are going to push your cards out. So a lot, I mean, the front desk works too as well, but social workers, because they're the one that's gonna really be doing it. But So if you're looking for a local business, as far as private attorneys and wills and um, things like that, definitely take business cards into hospitals and nursing facilities. You can also market to law firms, but um, on average, you get you would get a better um, response if you use um, law firms that focus on family planning because they're the ones that make doing the trust and the um, the wills and the power of attorneys and things of that nature. So if you're going to target law firms, I would suggest doing it that way. But definitely business cards. When it comes to marketing towards um, getting the power of attorney in that will business and taking those into hospitals and nursing facilities. Hey guys, that was my top three ways to help you grow your notary business. For more helpful tips and training, visit us online at notarytonotary.com. Happy signing!